Hi everyone. In this video, I'm doing a straight B minor seven, 12 bar blues. The chords are B minor seven, B minor seven, B minor seven, B minor seven, E minor seven, E minor seven, B minor seven, B minor seven, F sharp seven, E minor seven, B minor seven, F sharp seven. Totally straight chords for a minor 12 bar blues, simplest ones you could do. Um, and what I'm doing in this video is, is showing you how to play over those chord changes using only one pentatonic shape of the scale and moving it to only two different places during each course of the blues. The idea here is kind of simple, but I think it's very effective and it's a very good way to learn how to start making up lines when the chords change without knowing a whole lot of theory or a whole lot of information. So basically when you have a song, in this case a 12 bar blues, you're, you have what's called the main, the main sound, the tone center, the tonal center, the whatever you want to call it. You could call it the key, but that's not really what we're talking about here. You have this main sound, which in this case is B minor seven. You treat that main sound as its own entity its own little planet, so to speak. And then when the chords change to the other chords in the song, regardless of what they even are, you simply move whatever you're playing somewhere else on the neck of the guitar. There's a lot of different effective ways to do it. The first one that I just showed you was very simple. I know where B minor blues is. I know that when the chords change to E minor 7, I know where E minor blues is. I shouldn't be calling it blues, it's actually minor pentatonic, sorry. No blues note in here, no flat 5, just straight. Also, the other thing I'm doing is no guitar tricks, no bends, no nothing. A little bit of vibrato, a little bit of slides, because that way, if you were a horn player, a piano player, or a violin player, this idea will work for you too. So the first idea, I'm going to let you hear it again, I'll go through it two times, is simply I'm playing just off of the one chord, the B minor chord, when the chords are on B minor 7, and when they're on the other chords in the progression, I'm playing off of E minor, or E minor 7. Uh, here goes the example. Next example I'm going to show you is very similar, except this time I'm going to keep the B minor 7 for the one chord or the B minor um, minor pentatonic for the one chord. But when the chords change, this time I'm going to the fifth. I'm going to go to F sharp minor pentatonic. Here's that example. <laughs> Last example. 
this time when the song's on the B minor 7 chords, the one chord, I'm not going to play B minor 7. I'm going to play off the 5th this time. I'm going to play F sharp minor 7, which is a 5th above the B minor. And then when the chords change to the other chords in the song, I'm going to come back down to B minor 7. So here's what that technique or process or whatever you want to call it sounds like. Here we go. <laughs> examples when the song the progression was on the last four measures of the uh, progression where it goes you know F sharp 7 E minor 7 B minor 7 and F sharp 7 I just stayed on whatever the other scale was that I was showing you how it worked I'm just gonna do one more example maybe maybe mix it up a little bit more a little bit different uh, thank you for watching I hope you're enjoying these lessons uh, this series is about playing over a B minor blues. This is the second lesson in the series. I hope uh, you pass it on, share it, and uh, play on. <laughs>